Pokemon Go, yeah. Oh, that's fucking great. This is kind of this is weird, like weirdly addictive. Well, yeah. Huh. You guys, how long people have been wanting to do this? This is brilliant. This is gonna make like mo- the monies. <laughs> <laughs> it's already started making the monies. All of the monies. It's the highest grossing app available right now. Yeah, but that doesn't. That's not saying much. Yeah, it is. Apps are like fucking candy. Above, like... You trade that shit out every few years. Kind of. There are some of them that stick around. Like, Most of them are free service, but still. Oh, yeah. You can send money across I did waste a shit ton of time on the fucking Doors games. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Puzzle solving games. Which this is not. No. This is just an exploration. Something like that. Well, it's like a real world RPG. I'm playing Pokemon as the go. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon Go for figured, anybody who doesn't know. We figured... Like, <laughs> when did Go become a thing? That's what I want to know. Like, What the hell are you talking about? Like, Pokemon Go, Teen Titans Go, oh, Ninja shit. Go. <laughs> okay, first of all, those are like... Three very different yeah, three things. Very I get it. Things. But this is, they're still a thing, and they all kind of have the same <laughs> roots. That's not fucking... <laughs> okay. <laughs> If we're really gonna do this, yeah, no, I want to. So, I want to talk about the go yeah. thing while we're waiting for. While Pokemon we're waiting for go, because um, I've got. Well, let's see. We have HBO Go. There's a Paris like, that I'm just gonna let stand there. Just, <laughs> just because you know, um, there's the HBO Go, which is their, you know, free to play service or whatever. Yes, sorry, it attacked me. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So this episode is going to be Damn it. catching the Pokemons. Yeah, we're just going to catch Pokemon every few minutes because... Uh, uh, we? Fucking you. No, you also are playing the game. I'm not playing the game while we're recording. Oh. Sorry. Pokemon waits for no man, Nick. Oh, yeah? yeah. Is that why it will never die? Yeah, that's probably why it's it been on die. for like almost 20 years. Over? Well, no. now it's been 20. It's been at least it's almost 20. 20, yeah. You're 20. <laughs> no. Dollar. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um, but yeah, we figured... So, there's HBO Go, then there's Teen Titans Go, which I don't know what else you call that other than, you know, Chibi Teen Titans. Yeah. <laughs> Teen Titan Fun Time. Yay! Yeah. Teen Titans Go does have kind of like a Japanese feel to it in terms of like naming yes it's the teen titans but they're going and and going and going and gone um did you hear the one ninjago is something else entirely did you hear about the other days bunny getting arrested oh my god it was charged with battery i'm just gonna let that soak in (laughs) and how terrible that was Oh, that was great. Mr. Cole is the worst. <laughs> um, but Ninjago is kind of like... It's a weird marketing thing. Because you got to think that Lego was like, what about ninjas? And they go, you know. Ninjago. What? And then all of a sudden they're like, wait, it's Ninjago. We can actually make that sound like an actual thing, not just like... Two words placement. we put together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Spin so then, jitsu. Yep. It, it's much more impressive. <laughs> Cyclone. Do. That's a J thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And they attribute that to one guy, do the Hagemans. The Cyclone Do? Yeah. <laughs> what? He's like, he, he's the one who always comes up with like these really stupid plans that like not everybody thinks are great, but they turn, they somehow end up in, in the final product. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so in honor of the release of the Pokemons the go yeah I figure we'd right. talk about oh well, I don't know what you got well we, we we've you know played the game well I played some of you've the, played more right? games than I have sir yeah. uh, I played the blue Pokemons. I played silver uh yeah they were all <laughs> pretty much the same game um, <laughs> but I mean how do you make that mechanic different the answer is Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you just this, walk around. this is outrageous. Have you seen the, that uh, like meme that was like Nintendo's finally trying to get people to go outside? 
<laughs> Pokemon Go. <laughs> no, I, I have not seen that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I've I've watched first season Pokemon. I've never played any of those games. Uh, it's weird because I could never get into them. It just kind of seems Smash like Brothers, though, right? Well, yeah, there are Pokemon in that game. It's yeah, same. it's not the same thing. I played Lucario at one point in my life. Sure, only the one point though. But you never played any of the games. I have no, Pokemon Black. If um, you want to play it? No, well, I don't know. Maybe. Pokemon Black is just a ROM hack of... Oh, the terror? Yeah, that's right. You did tell me about that. Yeah. I forgot that you had that. Yeah. yeah. I still have that somewhere. Yes. Anyway, I would have to search for it. But <laughs> for, <laughs> for such an outrageously popular franchise, it's a terrible, terrible TV show. No, it's not. It's boring. <laughs> that's not true. There's a lot of narrative stuff with like just people walking around with music behind well, them. Well, of course... It's like, the fucking game. <laughs> How the hell do you make that work? Uh, tell the story? I mean, I I, event, I assume they've found their stride, right, by now, by this point? I don't actually know what happened. Um, and we haven't seen the show since the 90s. Yeah. So. Well, since the 2000s. Yeah. Like 2003. So, I don't know. That it, It's been like, there's been a lot of iterations of Pokemon, the TV show. So I'm wondering... Iterations are all kind of the same. Thing. They're all kind of the same, but I'm saying they're they're different shows. They're like seasons. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's kind of like how Power Rangers has always been Power Rangers, but it's been different Rangers every time. Different yeah, we powers. still follow Ash for like, again, almost 20 years. Yes. It's, a, it's insane. I don't know how that, that, that cartoon is doing right now, or the anime is doing, I guess I should yeah, it's it's an anime. It's much more Japanese uh, than don't say Digimon. Than Digimon. It, no, it's not. It is. No, like, it's not. Just an aesthetics, but you know, <laughs> it wants us to think that it's set in America. I was gonna say Digimon takes place in Japan. Yeah, they straight up say takes we're from place. Japan. Yeah, yeah, they have no. No illusions about it. Yeah, they're not like... like <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're in New York. No. <laughs> We're in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Wow. What? Uh, <laughs> what? I'm just yeah, saying. Los Angeles. Um, but We're in Chicago. I'm looking at you, the Dark Knight. Aw. <laughs> <That was, laughs> I mean... Yeah, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, but yeah, Pokemon, especially when it first started, was very much. It's more. It's got more anime tropes in it than than Pokemon than Digimon does. Uh, how do you mean? I, I have no way to like with the the, with I, the expressions, you know, and the sweat drop. No. Yeah. I don't think that's true. The happy expressions. There's an awful lot of that stuff going on in Digimon. When? Well, like uh, whatever Mimi and Pat Palmon are on that. I almost said Palmon oh, are on that <laughs> island, floating away from. Uh, oh, what are the name of those Digimon that they they meet up with? That they, that just kind of worship them. Little pink mouse. Yeah, giant no, no, I, turd. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, they go. That was like one scene though, and that's just an anime thing. That's what I'm saying. That's an anime trope. Yeah. So yeah, well, yeah they do this a like, lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Um, yeah, it's weird. They're like swirls and they are like, you know, pose and yeah. yeah. There's a lot it's of weird, anime they tropes. Actually do, in they actually just go off and kill people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, stuff gets dark in that show. I don't know if we ever see anybody Why? get anybody die in Pokemon's. Then again, I haven't really seen that many Pokemons. Again, only watched the first season, uh, and it's not bad for what it sets out to do. Because all it's doing is just advertising the game. <laughs> and also, you know, being very, you know, we're a cartoon for children. Yeah. yeah. See, it's not fair to compare Digimon to that, because Digimon know. is not that show. I Digimon know. is definitely... We have this story that I want to tell you, right? <laughs> About these seven kids that meet up with their... And then they get sucked up by a tidal wave out of their summer camp. What? And <laughs> transported into this alternate dimension. Well, 
The idea came from. I don't, we gotta stop this. We this can't. Is a Pokemon podcast. No, this is this is this is good. This is okay. we gotta clear the air because I'm sick of people talking about oh, Gigi Bros is just Pokemon. It's not. Yeah, that's right. It is a it is a much like a, deeper show. Yeah, like I saw that thing that you put on Facebook about the, oh, yeah. all the Digimon fans. Where's Digimon go? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that pisses me off. Yeah. Anyway. It's not. It's not the same show. Yeah, but I Digimon mean, has like a story that it can tell. I know there are Digimon games, but I've never played them. Pokemon has always been like strictly a game. Yeah, be it a card game or like a like the the, the game music is in the show. Yeah, like as part the of battle the music. Show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah I know. I've seen the show. I'm just yeah. saying. But I, I think. The, the the Digimon just started out with that the, the the thing that was in the movie the the short with the you know the children's big monsters fight in the city oh sure yeah that was the starting place <laughs> somebody saw that and was like you know what <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, that gives me a great idea and so they picked it up for series and then instead of like actually just you know going forward with that like most pilots would do Mm -hmm. Uh, they instead are like okay we're gonna jump like four years (laughs) (laughs) yeah we we take over some time like most great TV shows do they they don't (laughs) and then we just focus on everything that and then they're like normal or something Normal. Normal. And then they go, oh, go God, no, man. Yeah. Remember that nightmare that one time? Yeah, that was fun. No. Yeah. 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 So, I just... Digimon has more of a story base to it than Pokemon does. Yeah. Um, Pokemon is very much just... An adventure yay, game. Yay, fun. Yeah. We're having a fun adventure. Yeah. I'm going to catch them all. I'm going to be the best Pokemon trainer ever. <laughs> yeah. And the, the characters faint. <laughs> and in the meantime you got Digimon and those people are like in a life or death situation yeah like Both from unquote, day from episode we one we don't know if they're in a, like an actual life or death situation yes we do that's up for debate it's not up for debate they found out at the pyramid I know but they're I mean, not their real selves they're their digital selves but there's yeah consciousness and the yeah. matrix and blah blah, blah. yeah matrix <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly which what is happened. ironic because um, they came they're out just, like they're just in the ocean, floating with yeah. like octopus attached to their heads. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird because I think those came out about the same time. Was oh, the Matrix oh. and Digimon? Oh, wow. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, we were ready to get the sci-fi we going. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's technically sci. Also, well, didn't I guess Digimon Japan in like ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-eight. Okay, yeah. so it doesn't matter. No, the Matrix they, like, ripped off Digimon. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the, the Rajowskis are, are d- anime fans. I'm sure. So, I mean, I mean, have you seen Matrix? <laughs> I actually found that out while we were at the con last year. I oh. uh, was listening to the guy talk about it, and it was super interesting. He would said that the best anime adaptation uh, was the Speed Racer movie. Just because it was so out there and weird, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Are. Oh. Yeah. That explains a lot about what happened with The Matrix the third. Oh, I guess we can mention that real quick before we delve too deep into the Digimon conversation. What's that? So, the Death Note. Yep. The movie, the American-made oh. movies, mm-hmm. Netflix and, uh... Netflix original movie, kind of. What do you think? Uh, I think Netflix needs to produce better stuff, personally. Um, movies, movies. I'm trying to think if I've seen one of those movies. Because like TV shows are there. That's obviously their forte, right? Well, I mean, Daredevil season one is kind of like a movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of a start to finish. Yeah. Yeah. Daredevil two doesn't feel like that, but anyway. Well, no. It feels like Jessica two Jones movies. doesn't feel like that either. Yeah. Um, I didn't see Orange Is the New Black, but I know it's. A, is it a Netflix original? Yes. Yeah, I figured. That was like the, the original Netflix original was one. Oh, okay. And they're, you know, yeah. always releasing shit. Yeah. So, um, they, they mostly But I don't do know if that's true. I've yeah, seen. I've seen most of their comedy specials, but that's probably because they kind of, they probably don't have as many restrictions as like a network. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm surprised that Christopher Titus hasn't done one like that yet. 
With Netflix? Yeah, because I, I imagine that he would just be given freedom to do whatever the hell he wants. Yeah. Bo Burnham likes to do those a lot, though, since he's done multiple. So. Yeah, he, he independently produces his, though, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. So does Titus, but he has, you know, production skills. Yes. And also experience points. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of experience points. So, We're back uh, to the Pokemon. Back to, Pokemon. Back to the Pokemon discussion. <laughs> Um, but there are different types of shows. Yeah. No, but from um, episode one, like the difference between the episode, the first episodes, you know, like uh, the the from day one, they are in a life or death situation. That thing that you said, being attacked by fun. Kawagamon, dude. Yeah. That thing is horrifying. In the, yeah. In the uh, giant beetle that roars like a tr- tyrannosaurus. What do we imagine a tyrannosaurus would sound like? Yes. Well, just because you I mean, of course. Yeah. giant insects why would it not rule or yeah, it's a monster <laughs> <laughs> yeah but they're all monsters well, yeah I guess they all kind of roar right monsters yeah digital monsters yeah. and pocket monsters yes which don't have pocket that element of just uh, I don't know if they're technically monsters um because they they're just they creatures. don't have they don't have animals like actual Uh-oh. animals that exist they're just kind of the Pokemon have replaced the animals. Sure. In the show. Okay, so they're not. And Ash is put in a life or death situation in the first episode. It's a manky. Sorry. Ash is put in a life or death situation in the first episode. How? He gets attacked by Spiro. Oh, yeah, that's right. And he and Pikachu almost die. That was the moment that Pikachu decided to stop being a dick. <laughs> and actually, appreciate Ash. Oh my gosh, what was it? It was a manky. Oh, manky. Manky. <laughs> Ash got his hat stolen by a manky. It was pretty goddamn hilarious. <laughs> There's uh, just an entire episode around that idea. We should watch that episode. What is that? The ep- that episode that you were talking oh, about. Oh, the manky? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess we could. There are so many freaking mankeys in this, or sorry, pidgeys in this town. Well, yeah, of course. I have so Have you seen much... all the pigeons? <laughs> No, Nick, I don't see all the pigeons. Mostly because it's too hot for birds to fly over us right now. <laughs> I, would, I would disagree, but you're right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean... See, look at that! I guess it's just different, and there's also the group dynamic. All these different personalities are playing off of each other, and Ash is just the main character in the show. Um, but he like comes he, across. He's people got over sidekicks who are the gym leaders in the game. <laughs> is Misty a gym leader in the game? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. And so is Brad. So for the plant and also no for the water. Oh, for the water. That's right. Sorry. Because Cerulean City, in the Sorry. in the show, it actually turns out to be your sister. I just got done playing Arkham City, and man, Poison Ivy is like <laughs> and it's insane. <laughs> I don't, that's what I was doing before I got That here. has absolutely nothing to do with But that's time. why I went with Plant is what I was saying. I was fighting Poison Ivy. And she kicked my ass like multiple times. Okay. Yeah. I was playing as Catwoman. I'd never played those oh, before. Really? How did, so. so you went to DLC? Yeah, well, Wade has the DLC. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's it just, you know, side characters and blah, blah, blah. Right. And the Onyx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Onyx. Who's a uh, Misty starter? Is it Staryu? Yes. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> she got a Starmie and a Staryu. Uh, Staryu's usually the starter. And then she captures Psyduck. And Psyduck is her starter. Like, just because. Just because he wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> my theory about Psyduck is great. I love Psyduck. So, Psyduck is probably my hilarious. favorite Pokemon of all time. Well, he's great comic relief, especially to her just <laughs> bitchiness. <laughs> yeah, she's so mean. <laughs> she's particularly mean to Caterpie. Yeah. He did not deserve that. No. But at the same time, it's a giant caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. And so, it's a caterpillar. It's not going to eat you. It's not a Weedle. Weedles yeah. are probably more dangerous. Yeah, they have a giant horn on the front of the base. I have a Weedle. You want to see him? I call him Weasley. No, I don't. <laughs> like, I was trying to think of something funny to call the Weedle. 
You can call him Weed Man. There's another Graveler nearby if you, if you want to go get it. I don't no, know. No, I, I don't really care to. So. Yeah, you don't again, want to... Again, we're doing something. Are right you... Now. But I'm saying there are... Nick. What? What did you just say? I said me. <laughs> Those were <laughs> <all words. laughs> But, I mean, the Pokemon get personalities. <clears throat> the Pokemon... And that's a good I point. Guess. That's a good... No, they do. The other one who doesn't get a personality is freaking Pidgeotto. Togepi. Yeah, that's because that fool just is there for business. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't do anything except for what Ash tells him to do. Ah, I see. And then he goes back to the Poker Bowl. Or at least I haven't seen that episode to people who hate me right now. <laughs> How dare this guy like talk shit about Pidgeotto. I'm just saying, Ash starts with all the starters and uses Charmander the most. Digimon is so much better. To the point where that guy evolves into a Charizard. And we're not going to get into that argument no. anymore. No, 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 no. Because it can't happen. Yeah. Again, it's not the same thing. I appreciate Pokemon for what it is. The idea behind okay. it is cool. It was originally designed by... What the guy said was he, he used to love collecting like bugs as a kid. Oh, that's pretty cool. And so he wanted to share that with the world and create Pokemon. And yeah. he made millions upon billions of dollars. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it just became a phenomenon. Yeah, it exploded. Nobody yeah. expected that to happen. And I think that's the main reason is that because, you know, Digimon had to follow that or at least was was the... <laughs> was the immediate an- big Mon afterwards? Yeah. Or was the big, you know, kids anime following? Yeah. That everybody was like, well, I mean, they're just the well, same thing, it was like thing, three, right? two or three years after the game was released in America, right? Or after the show was released in America, Ninety-seven, uh, yeah. Ninety-seven was for when Pokemon. The show came Ninety-nine out. was Digimon. Yeah, so they had a couple of years. Um, I'm assuming that's why uh, Saban went ahead and picked it up. Probably. I don't know if they knew how deep the story actually got, or even maybe that was their idea. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just make an animated Power Rangers show, which is kind of what that no, show is. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, not for season one? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, it does have morphing sequences. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of action. Yeah. Um, but there's I also mean, a team dynamic. Well, yeah, but there's not like a... And they're like This teenagers. is the comic relief character, because they all kind of share that just a bit. Yeah. So sometimes when Joe is funny, sometimes... They're all Matt like three-dimensional funny. people is the idea. Yeah. And they, they all react like the way they're supposed to. No. They're not like, oh, cool, a monster. They're like, oh my god, a freaking monster! Yeah. <laughs> There's a head talking at me! Yes. Yeah. Joe has uh, the, the highest freak out, obviously. Well, yeah. For reasons. Because he's, yeah, that's just who that guy is. Yeah. Sometimes. He's the guy. Anyway. The, uh, who do you think is the highest comic relief character? Is it Joe? I don't Because Joe is also equally sad. It'd be like... What do you mean Joe is sad? Joe's Joe, not sad. He goes through a character arc. He goes through a bunch of character arcs. But I'm saying... Everybody does. But yeah. I'm saying... It's like if you took the funny parts away from Ted. Okay. From Scrubs. Oh. Like if you didn't have any of that comedy... Like... Well, yeah, it's funny it's sometimes. Ted, but Ted, if you like focus on it for too long... Yeah, but Ted is the sad sack. And Joe is just neurotic. Which kind of makes him the sad sack. He's Not the really. buzzkill character. Well, yeah, he's the dad. Yeah. Because he's the oldest out of the bunch. Right. He knows what's going on. <laughs> he has no idea what the hell is no. going on. Uh, yeah. But yeah. he knows he has to do something. Yes. I love Joe. Responsibility. Who would win in a fight? Oh, yeah? Uh, Joe or Brock? Man... We're, I told you we were not going <laughs> to Oh, yeah, that's right. We can't pit them against each other because they're not the same thing. Yeah. See how they're not the same thing? I'm just saying the fr- <laughs> Like <laughs> man, Do you see? Like Gomon's ultimate form is just <laughs> yeah. crush Onyx in one go, man. Is Onyx the highest level that Brock and I don't actually know. I haven't seen a higher level from from him. It's, it's just that Onyx is really big and it's a rock per, like dragon thing. Not like Rocky. Rock Dragon. 
Uh, uh, I have yet to see any Dragonite or Dragon type Pokemon around uh, the city. Well, I mean, except for Magmar. There's, there's only like is Magmar Jeff? I, I would imagine. I, I would assume him. so. Either that, that or he's like a Fire Nymph. Yes. Okay, Fire Nymph uh, type Pokemon. It didn't look like a dragon, like in the, the Poker Rap that I saw, because he never appeared on the show, or at least not on the Netflix version that I saw. What? <laughs> You never. Oh, okay. There was see. never. There was never like an episode that was like Magmar. There was one with Stan True. I don't know who I would say is the most comic relief. Uh, Bulbasaur I, is hilarious in his own dry way. Well, they left okay, us here. So they. <laughs> well, it's just fun to have them play off of each other really nicely, um, and that's the, the the thing that you get out of the. The, po- the them being lost on the island episode. Yeah, that's why it's my favorite. Is because you actually get in, get a little glimpse of what these characters are actually like. Yeah, as the, opposed to what you see. Folk of P. And they're totally you know entwined with who they are, so they don't feel like they're just like out of place. Yeah, like it's not one of those things where like Charmander is like, oh, I say, no. yeah. oh, I say, he's not like a real like sophisticated type. They're not like yeah. over the top characters. No. They fit with uh, their own individualism. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's, what I meant to say. High five. Fun. They get a lot of comedy in different ways, like with... Beh. With Beh? Well, the, the main comedy that the, they like the to go for. Comedy. Well, no. For that show. Not at first. Don't lie to me. Not at first. There's Growlithe. Like, the first couple times they show up, they're like the villainous Team Rocket. Which, uh... Kim told me was like train robbers. That's why it's Jesse James. Oh, Butch Cassidy. And Butch Cassidy. Yeah. And I was so freaked out when that happened. Uh, that that doesn't happen until way later in the show. And I was sitting there going, Butch and Cassidy. What the heck did this show turn into? I mean, it's like Jesse James. <laughs> <laughs> and I like had an epiphany and my mind exploded. It was weird. <laughs> it was just like, oh my god. Uh, it all makes sense. Um, but yeah, at first they're like a legitimate threat. And then, you know, as they keep losing, <laughs> it, it just, becomes just becomes a joke. Yeah. Recurring yeah. joke. Yes. For every freaking the, episode. The ding, you know? Yeah. <laughs> ding. Yeah. Yes. And just the fact that they would always show up and say the exact same thing. That's <laughs> just comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I suppose that could be fourth Wally if you if you utilized it properly. Um... They do do a couple of fourth wall breaks. <laughs> we come up with one every week, you know. <laughs> uh, I think that's the, that's the big one that that was there. And I mean, I always liked the uh, anything to do with Bulbasaur, just because he's a super complex character. It's very bizarre. <laughs> I mean, they're all kind of complex, just given their backstories. Yeah. But Bulbasaur is like the most interesting because he doesn't he doesn't take shit from nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just likes to kick people's ass, and it's. Bulbasaur is my starter for uh, for science reasons. No. Pokemon Go is an ingenious idea, and this game is going to last forever. Yes. I just <laughs> hope that it acclimates well. Me too. Why can I not activate the incense? Well, I mean, you keep forgetting about the fact that you're terrible. So I have a Charmander and a Weedle. All the iterations of Pidgey. But yeah, the, the comedy in Pokemon... Oh, yeah. ...primarily comes from... Uh, Ash and Misty bickering at each other. Or at least for the first part it is. Again, I haven't seen past the first season, so I don't know what they do right, right here. Indigo 2 is not on Netflix anymore? Yeah. Is it? No. Oh, okay. But it's okay. Because we have other things that we can watch. Yes. Or other ways to get a hold of that <laughs> particular video. Legally. Yes, it's legal. I'm a dragon. Oh, I'm the Batman. Slayer. Batman. What? <laughs> like Man Bat? Man Bat. <laughs> That's not what Man Bat sounds like. No. Man Bat. I've come to get you, Batman. It's me. <laughs> Man Bat. <laughs> <laughs> so like elderly Bane. Elderly Bane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> and from the Dark Knight Rises, you know. Oh! <laughs> I'll get you, Batman! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, do you think when Star Wars Lego Batman comes out that they're gonna everybody's gonna be like, man, Will Arnett's a much better Batman than Ben Affleck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really hope not. No, no, people aren't gonna do that. I really hope not. Uh, mostly because. Will Arnett is the best Batman ever. It's not just, you know, that one. That's not true. He beats up Kevin Conroy. It's different. There's different styles, Christian though. Bale. That's, a, that's the exact same argument to fucking... George Clooney. Comparing Digimon to Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but he's the best of his kind. Well, yeah, but I mean, nobody had ever really tried his kind. <laughs> yeah. So... You can't say if he's the best at it. Granted, he probably is going to be the best. Because, Damn, I, mean, I thought there was a Pokemon nearby that spawned. But. Nobody can sell uh, a douchebag quite like Will Arnett. That's not true. Dave Franco was the best douchebag. That's also true. We had this discussion last week. We did. Uh, we don't hate do you. Think that, do you think that after all these movies come out, the Lego movies, like the spinoff movies... Uh-huh. Uh, you think the walls will get a point to where we're like we're gonna put them all together in one movie, and they're gonna have a little bit more character moments together because Lloyd didn't really have much of a presence in in the, the Lego movie, which is fine, you know. Well, yes, I, and also no. It's not gonna be like a big epic, but there's gonna be like Easter eggs hidden throughout, right? Of the previous movies. Yeah. I also it's thought... There's you know, a lot of freaking people to get through. Maybe it's not the worst thing that could happen. I mean, we had... Uh, we had Channing Tatum play Superman. Yeah, which was freaking amazeballs. Yes. With, <laughs> with Jonah Jim Hill Lantern. Lantern. Yes. Oh, it's so good. So, I mean, maybe Dave Franco as Lloyd isn't a terrible idea for the route that they're going. I just want him to be the same character, you know? Yes. <laughs> You want him to stay true to his god mode. He doesn't have god mode. Yes, he does. No. He had a gold suit with a golden dragon. Yeah, but he gave up god those, mode. He gave up those powers <laughs> to give the ninja back their powers. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> he's got the creation ability though. That's what that's what his elemental power is. I'm really sick of Pokemon Go crashing. Can I throw? Can I throw that out there? Okay. It's the worst. Yeah. It's not like the show ever did that. I don't know if the show ever did that. It crashed a couple of times. Oh. Man. Team Rocket did it quite a bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They had a giant uh, balloon yeah. that was shaped like meow for some reason. Yeah. That's also a good chunk of where the comedy comes from. It's the Team Rocket just failed. I know. Just failed. They're Wiley and Coyote. Well, no. Except for there's three of them. No. Well, technically, like from a conceptual level, sure. Yeah. They do kind of get to this, you know, Bulk and Skull place. Sure. For their first season. Yeah. You know? I can see that. Where we're like antagonists, but we don't do good. <laughs> like, at our job. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Well, Bulk and Spike. Aww. Why? Because <laughs> Bulk and Skull, like, went places. Like, evolved well, you as don't know if you don't know if Jesse and James don't go places. Well, I mean, it's been more than a season and they didn't go anywhere, so you I don't mean, Bulk know and Skull that. were obviously I mean, the better there duo. Was, there was that Bulk one and Spike scene didn't go anywhere. There was that one scene in the movie, you know? No, I don't know. Well, uh, I'll have to watch it again. Magikarp. Um, anyway... Magikarp Kerp. Magikarp is the most Magikarp. useless Pokemon. Just splash. Yeah. Friggin' James gets conned into buying a, a Magikarp. Yeah. It was pretty goddamn hilarious. Yeah, I it's did see like, that. I'm gonna be rich. It was gold painted yeah. Magikarp. And they're like, you idiot. Yeah. It's a Magikarp. <laughs> Eevee has to be one of the coolest ideas I've ever heard. Yeah, well, I will capture one of those one of these days. Yeah, and which stone are you gonna use on it? Uh, I was thinking about it. Don't really want to use a Thunderstone or a Water. You don't want a Jolteon? No. Or a Vaporeon? No. Flareon? Those Flareon are the would only be cool. ones I know. Flareon would be pretty cool uh, to have. Not gonna lie. 
it's the fire down. The leafy, uh, no, just probably like leafy. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I might, I might go with the Vaporeon just so I can have a freaking water type Pokemon. Oh my god, like it's so I hot here, squirtle. even freaking water Pokemon don't come here. I caught a Squirtle though. In the first fucking level, when you like open the game and it's like, hey, there's a po- there's a squirrel and a Charmander next oh, to you. Shit. Which one are you gonna pick? The fucking Charmander just happened to be right in front of me, <laughs> and I didn't feel like moving. Well, that's not even fair. Charmander's Servers like are down. the best. Sorry, Charmander's the best. Well, Bulbasaur's the best. Nah. Bulbasaur is the best starter. He doesn't like to evolve though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he also won't listen to you unless until you were in his respect. That's true. But he looks like a bulldog, and I really want a, like English bulldog just to hang around with. Just a flower dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You choose an electric mouse. And it's a hamster. Hamsters, a fire lizard. Fire it's not, it's gecko. Not a, it's not a. It's not. A, it's not a hamster. This is, this is an electricity hamster. No, it's not. It's an electric mouse. The hamster is the... An you know, oddish, which is a potted plant. Radicate. Radicate is a hamster. What do you think is the most powerful class of Pokemon? Because there's like, they're like separated. Fuck, I don't that. know, man. Digimon aren't really get that. That d- separated like that. What do you mean, into classes? You don't get like fire Digimon. That's not true. We get into classes at some point. Do we? Well, yeah, we get data, virus, and vaccine. But yeah. we, that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> and then, you know, we got the, the gods... The Devas? Well, no. Oh. The people in charge of the Devas. Yeah. You know? The Phoenix and the Tortoise and the Dragon. Dragon. And the Tiger. What was his name? Wiger. Not Wiger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nick also just finished Jungle Fury. For the third time. What uh, is the name of the Dragon God? Oh, uh, Azulong? Azulong Mon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Nick. It was crazy, man. Uh, Black War Green Mom wanted to fight that thing. <laughs> yeah, and that thing was like, no, what? <laughs> 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 I will destroy you. <laughs> I won't. Because it's my purpose or something. Yeah, he has to be the very best. Oh, yeah. That no one ever was. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, have you ever gotten, I, I guess we've had had those villains... Um, in Power Rangers, the ones that are just like, you know, you're not worth my time. Yeah. And then they just fucking leave, you know, like Jasper. <laughs> Jasper? Yeah. Like from Steven Universe? Yeah, she was like, why well, you didn't need me for this, I'm going. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going back to the that. ship, I'm going to go get me a sandwich. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> boring. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess yes, we, we do. I guess we get some of those we, in Power uh, Rangers. Uh, Zanaku was one of those villains. Yeah. <laughs> he almost like, killed those people. Screw it. At one point, uh, Ryan was like that. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, they were fighting and he was like going to kill them and then they stopped fighting and then they just walked away. This is what happened. I really dislike Flight Speed Rescue. I don't, man. It's the, it's it's the a tipping point for me. Where it's like, yeah, it's, it's not good, but it's not... it's not. It, I mean, sorry, it's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just... There. It... it it doesn't do the right thing. It things. just exists. Yeah. You know, it the, creates conflict where there is none. Why? I, well, I, I just think, you know, for being a generic Power Rangers season, it could definitely be worse. Um, We've seen worse. So, I mean... from Yeah, from Power Rangers, sure. So, um, was um, the Magna Defender ever like that, or did you just come in and just kill motherfuckers and leave? Well, <laughs> well, because his vendetta was never against the Rangers. Right. But they fought at some point. Right? Well, yeah, because he was like, I'm going to destroy that motherfucker. And they were like, no. <laughs> Decker even did it a couple times, too, in Samurai. Yeah. This is yeah. not the battle I wanted. And then he just leaves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. He does kind of do that all. <laughs> he does. <laughs> that's got to be my favorite line read just ever. What? The duel. The one that you and I Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh that's fantastic <laughs> that was right I talk about it literally every time I'm on stream yeah. Yeah. it's been like 15 episodes <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it it's just so self aware just how he reads it yeah. it's, it's like he knows Yeah, yeah. it's a poor translation anyway poor translation 
Like, there were not I writers think... looking over it thinking, this doesn't sound right. And... Well, I mean, it just... Well, maybe, I don't know. That's what I say. It, it's just kind of a different... It's like, like um, when Carl was talking about Forever Red, it's just the way that... And Japanese words, if you were to translate them into English, just don't sound like English phrases, you know? Sure. Like something that Americans would actually say. Right. So that's where they, that's what they're talking about when they say poor translation. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, in Spanish, it works that way, too. And English phrases are kind of mixed and matched into different words, you know? English is a fucked up language, so let's put it like that. <laughs> yes. English is not a language. English pickpockets other language for like spare punctu- punctuation and shit. Punctuation? Punctuation. It's an English word that I just made up and it'll be in the dictionary this time next year because that's how English works. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I think it's just evolutionary on that. No. Just like, well, everybody's saying this now. Yeah. Word. It's adaptive <laughs> is the English word. language. Word. Word. Radical. Awesome. The bomb day. Toaster oven. So, so, so syphilis. <laughs> uh, uh, or is he so sorry? I'm glad he got funny. Um, uh, I don't know if he wasn't unfunny when he comes. He wasn't unfunny. He was just un- he was inexperienced. Just, he was just teetering on unlikable. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, there's that. My hair. Because there's not a whole lot to say about the Pokemons. There's not a whole lot to say about Pokemon. We, we had gotten into the Digimon discussion. That was that was infinitely more interesting. You see... <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think that you, you can't really compare them because they're, they're both no, you can't compare trying them. to do different things. <laughs> like, Pokemon just is very, you know, we're going to have kind of fun. fun. It's, you know, inter- it's an entertainment thing for them. Uh, for Digimon, it's more like, well, we, we, got, wanted, this we got this story that we want to tell, yeah. and let's expand on it. 13 episodes, 26 episodes. <laughs> 50 something episodes. Yeah. 54 episodes, 54 I think, episodes, is what season one season in. You know, let's just keep adding on to the story. And sometimes that turns into a bad thing, and then you get into the terrible seasons. Well, I mean, it, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, season one is really well written. It's got a ton of episodes. Season two is the same way, you know. It, it does have its like bumpy moments, but whatever. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, like making Kari the light and introducing Cthulhu Mon, and we never actually go anywhere. With yeah. That. Well, I mean, not <laughs> yet. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. I want to find out. Do you want to find out? You want to do that right the hell now? No, we can't. I told. I keep telling you that. And you're yeah. not listening to me. He's just gonna stop, and we're gonna be like, oh. Ah. Yeah. It's kind of like the way with Strawberry Steven. Watermelon Steven. Yeah, also Sorry. strawberry Steven. Or like they're in the strawberry fields. Super Watermelon Island. Eaten there we go. by butterflies. Rubies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great episode. <laughs> Serious Steven. They're in my eyes again. Yeah. He's so naive to start out as Steven. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. He's just like, this is going to be a fun adventure. And now he's like, we might have to fight some bad guys pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> this might be a little bit rougher than I thought. Yeah. I'm looking right now to see if there are new episodes. Of the Seavers? Yeah. Apparently there was a clip. So, I mean, there's that. Well, no, it apparently it started airing like on today. Today. Last week. I'm bad at days, Nick. <laughs> Work on the weekends. I will overnight. watch Skybound after I finish the review for, episode, or for season five. I really will. I don't believe you. In the meantime, nobody spoil anything for me. <laughs> I would really hate that. Tumblr likes to spoil a whole lot of things. Without telling you. They'll just be like, cool, you know? Hell, season five was ruined for me because of DeviantArt. Well, people this will teach you to get on the internet. People were doing fan art, and they were like, remember that time when Lord Read was a possessed book. by a ghost? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. God, I love that show. Maru. Season 5 is, uh... Wow. Yeah. It takes a dark turn. Like, yeah. a really dark turn from the end of, from the end of Season 4. Yeah, it's very weird. The idea that they came up with was, hey, let's turn Lloyd evil. Have the ninja face off against an evil green ninja. 
I mean, how would we do that? I don't know. Maybe a ghost possesses him to do it. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, Steve, take a step back. And then we just, you know, go for it. And I, it's just so much better written, and the stakes are a lot higher. Than um, the tournament of elements? Yeah. Or even... Also, the pacing is a lot more tightly well. Tightly what was the one that Zane, Zane focused on? What is it called? It's uh, Rebooted. Rebooted. Oh, yeah. Seasons 1 and 2 definitely feel like their own standalone story. Oh, they are. Because they, that's what they're supposed to be. I, what I like about these later seasons is they kind of ask the question of what happens after you complete your destiny. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like, what, what happens after Happily Ever you After? You become Power Ever. Rangers. Dude, you know, like Lloyd doesn't just stop being the Green Ninja; he's always the hero. Yeah, um, I uh, and they don't stop that either. Even though they try, they've tried like twice to, to to do it. I since the show is wrapped for different for completely different reasons. That's kind of the, what I wanted the the MMPR movie to be about. What? What was just life after everything that had already happened? Like, not so much a reboot, but like a sequel. But how? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Mostly because I didn't see Turbo Power Rangers movie. No, yeah, that's... So... It's fine. It's on Kiss Cartoon, we can watch it. Oh my god. I can think of so many other things that I would rather do. <laughs> than kill an hour and 27 minutes like, of your brain cells. It, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, meth. Oh, yeah? No, I wouldn't rather do meth than watch Turbo. But yeah. That's what that's what makes it so interesting, the... the Jay and Mia breakup thing. That's what that's what I like about it. What is that? You know, that they they immediately just break it off with each other because they just found out that they're not compatible with each other. Yeah. And that's the thing that happens with real people. Yeah. So I mean, sometimes that shit just happens. Yeah. Happen well. I mean, I mean, it's not executed the best way, like at all. <laughs> um, but the the idea is that they come up with it after the big misstep. Is really nice, you know? Yeah. And especially when you get into season five, and, you know, the fir- one of the first things Lloyd says in the first episode is like, you know, without my father around, I don't know what I'm going to do, who I'm afraid of, who I might become. <laughs> and then, you know, <laughs> you go into the Morrow thing, and yeah, that's just super interesting. And Is that what happened at the end of season four? Garmadon left into the other dimension yes. of the Shadow Realm? Yeah. The Phantom Zone. The Cursed Realm. Really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. But every everything is like kind of a catalyst, and this is what I started to notice as we've been moving forward. Like, everything leads into everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, particularly starting with Season 4, I don't really count Season 3, because the way that that ends is just Zane's dead. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, sure, it leads the ninja to, to take part in the tournament, which they probably wouldn't have done. We had to wait like three minutes for I mean, Zane to come back. You know how long we had to wait for Leoman to well, come back? We had, we had to get to a funeral scene. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, we had a couple funeral scenes at Digimon. Remember when Waybot died? Right. They, yeah, like, we <laughs> they had like burials and they were like, remember these fallen heroes? Yeah. It was harsh. <laughs> They were like fighting a war, dude. But seriously, though, no, nobody ever dies in Pokemon. Yeah, I know. They just faint. Yeah. That's garbage. <laughs> yeah. Like, even when Digimon faints, it's a big deal. It's like a problem. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, he's not awake when he's supposed to be awake. <laughs> and Pokemon, it's like, eh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could just get another one. Yeah. It's so screwed up. Yeah. Which is not to say that it's not without its, like, touching moments, I am assuming? I remember... It has touching moments. I there remember, like, like, two really powerful uh, tear-jerking episodes. Oh, okay. Uh, that both have to deal with Ash talking about, Okay, you're much happier here than you are with me. I'm gone. Ah, uh, okay. You know? Except he actually let Butterfree go, and I was like, fuck you, it's your first Pokemon, don't do that shit. <laughs> and then he tried to do the same thing with Pikachu, and it was a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going, ah! <laughs> my feelings! <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> he can like hear the theme from the fox and the hound in the background no, as yeah. he's walking away. That was the worst thing. <laughs> Why do you have to remind me? Of that? It's like, I drank that bit real way. I can't. I like. I cannot watch that movie for that reason specifically. Yeah, it's uh, it's, 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 it's too so much, sad. dude. It's too like, much, what dude. The hell? <laughs> Man, our childhood was just dramatic. <laughs> dramatic. Dramatic. Yeah. Traumatic. Yeah, traumatic. Dramatically traumatic. Tra- dramatically dramatic. I still say no death kind of hits harder than Leo Mon's death in season three. Like Digimon Tamers. Yeah. Just because it's supposed to hit that hard. And they went the extra mile. Did you buy his powers down, man? Yeah. They didn't right. have to do that shit. <laughs> they really didn't. Yeah. But they were like, nope. Jerry just loses her mind just staring at it. Yeah. Like it's she's like, holding a freaking heart that quit beating. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucked up. I was sitting there going, oh my god. That was pretty brutal. Uh, Waymon's death was really brutal. But uh, War Raymon cut Metal Seedramon in half. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. The most traumatic death in Digimon history. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The Wizard Mon. No, it's Wormon, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, that's not even like it, you have to have that scene oh, though, because I mean it's the it's the the catalyst to <laughs> yeah, the, and it catalyzes turn it back oh, into God. Ken and blah blah blah, and the Jay just go all the way with it. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. Oh my God, that entire scene is so well done. Okay, it is. I'll have to watch it again, but okay. He like loses his mind. Well, yeah. He just starts walking away in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Like, that was a really bad day for him. <laughs> well, yeah. But did you, Dustin, he destroyed Chimeramon? TK punched him in the face? <laughs> was that all the same day? It was the same episode. <laughs> That's I awesome. Think. <laughs> I don't think that then was Wormon the same just. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> I kind of want to put a poll out there on Facebook. He doesn't, something. like, just. Poop. just <laughs> He, he he has to have like a conversation with him before he dies. Well, yeah, because it's an anime. <laughs> okay, sure thing. Nick. It's a kids show. <laughs> Bullshit! Like kids shows have killed off a character. Hell, we were just talking about Ninjago killed yeah. off Zane. Yeah, we had to wait all three minutes to see that guy. Oh, they killed off Robo Knight, and that was fucked up. That was fucked up. Too bad he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> At the risk of just going white hot with rage yeah um, we'll just go back to Ninja so Ninja Go I just find it interesting that we just like the reason that the stuff happened that uh, possession even happens is because they open the portal to the Cursed Realm and blah 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 um, and then at the end of that season they destroy the Cursed Realm which is a big point as to why blah 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 happened in Skybound and yeah, yeah we haven't seen that one okay have you not? I've seen some of it. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna rewatch it again. There's a lot of stuff that they do because Jay's the focus of that season. So. Oh. <laughs> that They kind of put the Jay and Nia relationship at the forefront. Okay. <laughs> and they have this really, you know, rude conversation. Where he's like, "I hope we can just stay friends," and she's like, "I don't know if we can do that because I know you don't ever see me that way." And it was, yeah. Wow. So it gets harsh. That is pretty brutal. Yeah. Uh, according to uh, the internet, Jay gets put through the ringer in that season, Ben. I will be the judge of that. Yeah. You will be the judge of that. Uh, I don't know if... I don't know if Kai gets put through the ringer in his season. Uh, <laughs> just kind of a lot of... Well, that was a mistake. I'm going to never do that again. Then we move on. I mean, Zane got kind of put through the ringer in the fact that he just fucking died. Well, he Granted, had to go through the fact his that love he interest, wasn't alive. both sh- like they both seen each other die in front of him. Yeah, you it's know their fusion, right? <laughs> I just want you to know. Um, <laughs> no, well, she's not like Katana, Cortana, Cortana, that one. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. They, I almost said guitar. Uh, kinda. Or they don't really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can. Well, because they complete each other. So I mean, yeah, that's gotta... what I'm saying. They like belong together. Yeah. 
Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing for that, man. Uh, well, you I, could, you like, could argue that Pokemon you could course. argue that that uh, Lloyd gets put through the ringer in possession. Uh, kind of. <coughs> I thought that season was more supposed to be about Kai than it should well, have been. The, like then more than sorry, Kai was, should have gotten more focused than he did in that season. Well, because they set it up that way. That's kind of how they the the story arc is kind of set up. As you soon can as kind of argue that like they Kai's always kind of the focus. No. <laughs> what about in Tournament of Elements when he grabbed the staff? That's his that? his whole that's his whole season though. You can't count that. And of course he's like the main first character that we see in season one. Yes. Yeah. It's really his story that we kinda of follow, also following Lloyd's Yeah. You know, but he has to always teach him and also go through the fact, you know, his whole I'm not the green ninja thing. Yeah. Which we could have actually brought up in possession. I'm really sad that they didn't do it, but you know, there's a lot of story to get through. In all honesty, story that we you know yeah. didn't see because we didn't play the tie-in video game. I well, I've seen those cutscenes. It doesn't really add much. Mm-hmm. Other than providing Ronan's backstory, it does not add much at all. Except for the fact that Lloyd apparently went into exile after his father <laughs> like cursed himself. Uh huh. And like went away. He just kind of left the ninja and went to a volcano and just sat there for like <laughs> months or so. Like, <laughs> like, 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 Skywalker. Skywalker yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they talk just about, they, they, brooded at this water rock. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they talk about that. Like, they're like, we gotta go find Lloyd. I don't know. We haven't, we haven't seen that guy since his father like disappeared. So, I mean. Wow. That's hilarious. And then they go over to him and he's just kind of there. He's <laughs> just... Yeah. It's going to look so cool when they show up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, he kind of does get put through the ringer, like, just emotionally. And also he gets possessed, so, I mean, that's got to take a toll on you. He never does the, like, Jesus thing. Where he's like, it's too much responsibility, blah, blah, blah. He does kind of do that in season three. In rebooted... Yeah, he, he he ultimately decides that um, respon- that responsibility is too great for one person, but he trusts his friends to I carry that weight with powers. him. Yeah, to carry that weight with him so that they're stronger together. That's what part that's part of the reason he makes such a good leader and why everything kinda of falls apart when right. I get there. So together we are more Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. The closer we get to that movie, the more excited I am. No, it's great. I, I want it to work out. Yeah. I don't want it to suck. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, Deadpool is the first movie that I've ever seen that was exactly what everybody wanted it to be. <laughs> like, nobody's expectations were too high. And, you know, nobody thought this movie was going to suck. Well, it, it achieved its goal. Well, I think it's because it kind of had that that uh, insurance on it like you, you get I mean we've already done the bad thing yeah I so guess so let's let's watch them try one more shot at it they can't possibly suck twice right granted Transformers I was gonna say yeah a couple of the Ninja Turtles but I mean I it, Ninja it's a reboot so I mean and of course they're going to poke fun at it that just because that's the type of character that Deadpool allows you to but that's what I'm saying those like, jokes in we should have these kind of jokes in the MMPR movie oh yeah what, you know what like spandex yeah no, no, like no. that joke has evolved RPM did it really yeah. well no they should definitely put those jokes in there like you know more phenomenal yeah just throw that one in there Randomly, I it's always thought that you know, let's let's do the Morphin Time bit. You know, I've got that full thing planned out. We already talked about that. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm looking forward to that movie. Sorry, I'm gonna get, just jump subjects because no, cool. I was thinking about it just now. It's a tr- another trailer for Suicide Squad. That oh, yeah. movie's gonna suck. Why? Oh my god, it's gonna be bad. It's I, not marketed well. Well, what is this? Who's who's this movie for? It's for everybody. How? Well, the, the way that they're marketing it, or at least the way that I think that they're mar- they they want their intention in marketing it is this DC's version of Guardians of the Galaxy. Mmm. Yeah, you know that's I, gonna be bad. I didn't care for Guardians, Guardians. of the Galaxy as yeah, we were no, discussed, but it just seems. <coughs> like, 
I, I, I did also enjoy Deadpool, though, so I, I can get behind, you know, the sense of humor and behind the comedy stuff, you know, mm. on top of the action stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Still, <laughs> like, these characters are really well established in this verse. Well, yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like... Like, the DC. DC is kind of throwing everything at the wall right now. Seeing uh, what sticks. Well, no, 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 not just seeing what sticks, but just kind of like playing all their cards all at once. You know, we got to do. To catch up. We got to do Batman versus Superman, and also introduce Justice League because Marvel. Yeah. You know, and then we got to do the Suicide Squad, and that'll better establish the universe, and also Guardians of the Galaxy super successful. Yeah. Let's sh- chuck that one in there. God, Suicide Squad. Granted, I haven't well. seen. The the Batman vs Superman though we should that see that ultimate movie. cut uh, did come out, which oh, yeah. is like three and a half hours long or something like Jesus that. Jesus Christ! Do you want to watch that movie? I uh, <laughs> I understand uh, that the, is a commitment. The last time I sat through a three hour long Zack Snyder movie, I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that Watchmen? <laughs> yes. Oh man, Watchmen is a long ass movie. Yeah. People still defend that movie, and I just don't get it. Like, I'll I, defend one I, character. I had, to, I had to explain to Brandon why I didn't like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because the plot stops for 45 minutes. 45 minutes! The plot goes nowhere. Why is this in the movie? Because it was in the book? Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's there's you can't just leave it in the book be, or in the movie because it was in the book. Yeah. You got to sacri- You're not gonna have the same impact, dude. But I just don't. I just don't like it. And I know that there are fans of that movie and whatever. And they'll call me. And just I like, didn't know that. You're the worst because you don't like that movie. But I'm sorry. It just. I, I felt like man. Like there's certain movies that I watch that I'm just like going, man, this is a waste of my goddamn time. You know, where you can just feel the length. Yeah. Like, Battle of Los Angeles was a waste of my goddamn time. Yeah. I feel like Cabin in the Woods was a waste of my time, but I only saw it the one time and I was pretty pissed off about it. Okay. You should watch that movie and let me know if it's any good. Okay. Because you, you have no emotional connection <laughs> at all. That's not true. Thor yeah. was in it. <laughs> yeah, and so was Lily. So was Lily. So, I mean... And that one chick. Sigourney Weaver. Oh. Ghostbusters <laughs> is coming out. Oh, this weekend. That's right. Oof. This movie. How man, do you feel, Nick? I don't know. Uh, I this is one of those movies where I'm like, I don't know if I should watch this just because it doesn't look particularly great. It doesn't look terrible, but I mean, there's some things that I'm looking at it going, I don't know if that, that this movie's gonna actually work. No. Um, but then you know the internet loses its goddamn mind. And now just everybody... Now yeah, everybody who hates that movie is sexist. Yeah. I think that this brand of comedy does not belong in this movie. Let me put it like that. Comedy has changed. I don't know yeah. if you've noticed. From the 1980s. Yeah. Freaking 80s, dude. It was 35 years ago. Yeah, well... It's kind of like horror. We're not doing well, I mean, slasher we, films we, anymore. We We're did. doing paranormal films now. Well, yeah, we did kind of see that, that different shift whenever vacation happened. Yeah. And nobody liked that movie. I personally so. thought the better vacation movie was We Are the Millers. Not that it was a particularly good film, but it was. I wanted to bearable. check that one out. You know, it's bearable. Okay, cool. Mostly because Jennifer Aniston. Well, yeah. 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 She got a lot of credibility from doing the the whole That's bosses Jason movie. Sudeikis. It is. Oh, it is Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Jason Sudeikis and Emma Roberts and. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston, Aniston and, and that one other kid who's going to play Pennywise the clown. Oh yeah, I forgot that that was supposed to happen. Supposedly that was what was going to happen. I don't think he ever signed on. But I did see a movie poster for It. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just a, like a and It's the clown. Or is it just a it's the face of the clown. Oh, for real? Yeah. And it was like that half. easy with it? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Does it, wouldn't that kind of confuse people? Because isn't that the same thing that they did for Poltergeist? Uh, I don't remember what the... Pol- no, the Poltergeist... No, what? The remake? The remake was just... The clown face, the, the, the doll. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, isn't that kind of the same thing? Like, wouldn't that confuse people? It might, but Pennywise is a drastically different clown. Okay. It was a very specific clown, let me put it like that. An alien spider. 
I feel like <laughs> a Stephen King reboot needs something else. It needs something extra. Well, I mean, how many Stephen King reboots have there actually been? The Shining? That's true. We did do that. It did uh, happen. Uh, I don't remember a whole lot about him, but I mean, I know it Yeah, happened. me neither. I remember the Nicholson version pretty well. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> that was some fucked up shit. And that movie, like, it's just how do you say? Not rebels, rebels. Well, I just think it gives rebels you like, unsettling in its own, own, like, yeah, tone. Yeah. <laughs> it sets this odd, like, uncomfortable tone the entire movie. It doesn't let go. Like from long wide angle camera shots that just last a little bit too long, and like. When yeah. he's like riding the the tricycle around the yeah. the hotel, and it'll go from carpet to hardwood floor, and back, and it, it's just a harsh transition. Yeah, it's like God damn it, cut to something else. <laughs> you feel trapped in the scenes. Well, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, because Kubrick. <laughs> <laughs> that fool's crazy. Claustrophobia. <laughs> hey, you know there was like a theory that like Kubrick. Was uh was the one who films the fake moon landing? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I uh, did not hear about that. One of his, uh, I think his his daughter came out on Twitter and was like, "No, no, that, that didn't, didn't happen." <laughs> <laughs> he was insane, but not crazy. Yeah. yeah. Not like so. you people. <laughs> hey, uh, people bother me. I think that's time for us. I'm oh, sure. we've reached the hour mark. Yeah. Uh, so this we just kind of jumped around from topic to topic. Yeah. Uh, well, because we didn't have any big news. I mean, we had. Pokemon Go was the biggest news. Yes. And it has taken over the world. <laughs> we all live in a Pokemon world. Yeah. <laughs> that's not even a joke. <laughs> yeah. uh, we didn't even do the intro. I just hope people are safe. Did we not do the intro? No. Oh, we didn't do the intro. No. Do you know what? Yeah. I'm not doing it. Are you not? It's... I'm not going to do it. You can't make me. Oh, come on. No. I'm leaving. Okay. Going home. All right. You can't make me do the outro. Well, this has been... Nick, a.k.a. Iron Man 1990. I haven't left yet. You can't do the uh, outro. <laughs> well, this is really... No, you can't do the <laughs> outro, dude. <laughs>